Hello, reformers, and welcome to a special feature of Merc. Now, this is a RTS strategy squad-based tactical shooter thingy. Yes, that's very, very good. Anyway, the point is, this is a cross between XCOM and, well, Satellite Rain, if you know that game, as well as, obviously, Syndicate Wars and things like that. It's kind of cool, I gotta say. It's not turn-based like XCOM, but it has the same kind of squad-based mechanics and, as well, well, obviously, the micromanagement as well. You can equip your units, you can heal them, you can choose which missions you go on, and everything is in real time, so... You know, you select your missions and time goes by as you are on the world map. Anyway, I already have a save game, but obviously I'd like to take a look at the initial cutscene and I'm sure you would as well. So let's just start a new one and see what that's about. So, there's the small intro to the game, and it sets up a rather wonderful backdrop. Obviously, I say wonderful very loosely because it's very bleak indeed, very dystopian future. Anyway, let's create a new game, and we can now enter a company name. So, I think I'm going to be calling my company Reform Inc., because why not? Let's do it. Checking legal for name conflicts? No, there isn't any. Thank you very much. Now, we can use a logo and a color for our mercenary company. I have no idea what to go for, so I'm just going to select something a little bit random here. I'll probably just go for this and go for that, because that's kind of the colors I have. And we'll go with that. There we go. So, I think we're going to be, yes, we're greeted by our command center here. We have our bank up here, as well as our weekly costs. And... This is the map, so if I can actually zoom... Can I, can I not zoom out? No, it seems like I'm at the maximum zoom out right here. But as you can see, the map is relatively large. And, well, I can only assume that we're going to be going to many, many missions on it. And we also have a codex here. This gives you all the kinds of information that you will require. Units all have abilities. You have up to two special abilities each unit, and they gain experience. They also have passive abilities as well. And then we have tactical time. Ah, okay, so... This is the slow motion mechanic, because obviously there has to be one in a real-time game. Just in case you are completely overwhelmed by enemies, you're going to want some way of slowing the action down a little bit. And then, of course, you do have looting. There are loot crates and things that you can, well, loot and gather, and you can get some really nice items from that. 
and then you all you know you have a, a bunch of other descriptions here as well so if we go back to the you know, well if we go to the barracks you can see we have a number of different members of the squad here oh now this is this is actually quite impressive now my first team the team that i had when i first booted up the game and tried it out and everything they were all level 12 but these are all completely different. These, the, the, the maximum one we have is level six and the rest are all level one. So maybe that is, maybe that's a bit changed because it did just get a bit of an update before I recorded this. So yeah, there, there might be something going on there. It might be making things a little bit, you know, a little bit more balanced. And I think we can, I think we can probably just go straight ahead and head in here. Now, as you can see here, find the source of the power disturbances at the Ether Sector Power Station. So there we go. We get a reward of 3000 credits and we get some reputation with Themis itself. And of course, you know, we basically pay for our next weekly cost. Hopefully then we'll also be able to maybe buy some things, maybe some upgrades. I actually don't know, but we're going to find out. So, given your extensive work in the field, Commander, it may seem strange to be issuing orders from behind a desk, but I am certain you will quickly find that Merknet provides advantages never available to you on the ground. So, here you go. Now we can move our units. You can turn the camera with A and D, and you can just move on. Now, the camera does stick to your units for the most part, so that's a little bit strange for me. And W and S zooms the camera in and zooms it out respectively. And now we're just going to be moving on here. We're just going to be making our way over to the next point. Now, as you can see, because we only have one very high level unit, well, it's not very high level, but level six, she is the only one that has abilities. And the rest of them, well, I, I assume they'll probably gain abilities as time goes on. So we're going to go and open the gate over here. And this is all in real time, no turns whatsoever, so you don't have to have any turn limit or anything. It's completely real time. And now we have a bit of a keypad here. Let's open it up, and now we have, oh yeah, we have some enemies. So, let's see what we can do. Let's, oh no, that's too far for most of our people. Oh, there we go, yeah, take that guy down take that guy down as well. You do have to click on the enemies to take them out, and we are also going to be then getting the loot crate over here. Technically, this is not a loot crate, but it's actually just a, a loot cube, I suppose you could say. It's kind of a loot cube. You can get heals and things like that from it, and that's actually kind of nice because that means that you are a little bit more survivable than you would otherwise think. Obviously the first mission is very, very easy in comparison to later ones, but opening the door is very, very easy as well. But obviously that's going to become a little bit more difficult as time goes on. But there's a loot crate that I very much want to see what is inside, so let's see if I can open that. Uh, yeah, it's just got a heal squad, so you can just heal the squad 100%, which is yeah, it's kind of a shame that you can't save those items, but do bear in mind that this game is in early access, and it's already looking very, very polished as it is. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed by that. If you also want to check out the game, there is a link in the description, and I think that, well, quite a few of you would probably be interested in this, because I know that some of you are very, very much XCOM fans, so... Let's let's move over here, shall we? Let's get over there and try and shoot this. Now we do have a sniper, I think. Don't we have a sniper? Is is that is that our sniper? I actually don't know, but we do have frag grenades and suppressing fire and things like that. But obviously, I haven't really been needing to use them so far. Okay, so let's just open up the next gate. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit as well. Oh, it seems like there's not much to do in here, but there is a lot of cover to do. Do bear in mind this is the tutorial, basically, so it is going to be relatively easy in comparison to later levels. And there we go. I think this is the last thing we need. Let's shoot that. There we go. And I think there's one on the other side as well. Maybe. Isn't there? No. Ah, okay, well. Last time I played, there was, so that's a little bit weird, but maybe we've just missed him. Who knows, but, yeah, well, at least we can open the gate now. 
There we go, and that's it. So, yeah, there we go. That is our extraction point. Get to the evac zone. No missing it by one turn. Thank you very much, because uh, XCOM, yeah, that, yeah, XCOM does that, certainly. There we are, mission successful. Fantastic. So, there you go. That is where I got to previously. And let's just take a look at what we are going to be getting here. No secondary objectives or anything like that. We did gain a little bit of extra additional loot, which is always nice. And there's the experience. Oh, and look at all of the levels we're gaining right now. Look at that. We are all level 4. And, well, apart from Fanjet, who is level 9 now. Absolute beast right there. And we have earned one ability point. So, now, if we do go to the barracks, we can actually level them up, but, as you can see, welcome back, Commander. I've gone ahead and analyzed the disruptor you found. It appears that it was trying to hack into the hydroelectric generator and shut it down. Fortunately, the power stations are all outfitted with top-of-the-line security, so the most this device can do is cause temporary power disruption. All right. We can send mercenaries to locate and disable them. Okay, that's fantastic. So, let's update the command center. That will obviously mean that new missions will pop up and the threat level will maybe increase. So, let's see. Is there anything else around here? It's probably... Oh, my. I mean, just look, look at the map. It's absolutely huge. Obviously, I think you can probably only do things maybe in and around the city, but there are badlands to do as well. So, you never know. You never know. So, anyway, we can now advance the day if we so desire, but I think what we're going to do first is maybe level up. Well, we don't really need to heal them or any... Do we? Do we need to heal them? They, they, they all seem to be injured, it says, but I don't think so. Tremor will cost $12, and Pincushion will be out of action. I, I don't... Are, are they injured? It doesn't seem like they're injured to me. Well, Napoleon is actually... Oh, they're a little bit injured, you see. They're a little bit injured. Okay, I don't think they really need to rest right now. I think that's a little bit of a waste of time, isn't it? I think so. So if I go here, we can advance our levels, I think. Somehow. Let me, let me see if I can actually find how to do that. Alright, so it was actually as easy as clicking on one of these abilities here, and then it opens up this tree. And obviously, right now we have Enhancement Health Boost. I suppose I'm just going to be unlocking that. Can I unlock anything? Nope, nope. It seems like all of them are locked apart from these, so you have to go through all of them to be able to unlock the more advanced things, which is fantastic. So there you go, we're just going to upgrade that, and that's an additional health boost for wheels there. And obviously Fanjet has also, you know, does also have some, some things there that we can go for. So let's let's actually go over to her. And she does already have some amazing abilities already. So I suppose we could just get some improvements. We could get some more. Should we get some more health? I, I don't even I don't even know whether she really needs that. I increases your rate of fire. Let's go with that. More damage can always help, I suppose. And we can unlock this. Obviously, they're starting from one, basically, so they, they need as much health as they can get and help. <laughs> yeah, there we are. Okay, so let's go back to Mission Control and advance by one day. There we go, we're getting a huge amount of new things. You may have noticed that we've assigned an additional fund of credits to your account. Unfortunately, it won't stretch very far, but it will avoid the vultures at Titan Bank from trying to shut down your operations. If you need more funds, Titan Bank does provide loans, but their repayment plans are less than fair. Of course they are. Okay, so, is there anything else apart from that one mission that I can see right here? No seems not. So it says here, remember to upgrade your mercenary units with abilities and skills. We already did that. And we also do have the ability to hire new fighters, weapons, and gear. Are we going to do that? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe. Maybe let's take a look at that. Aha. Okay. Well, these are actually very expensive considering we already have to pay about, what is it, 2,000 or so? 2,000? for our weekly wages and obviously that's just going to get more and more as time goes on i actually don't even know what we're using right now i mean i could get us something which might be an idea these are the units that you can get ah apparently hedgehog has the ability cloak which is actually kind of cool hmm well let's go back to the command center real quick i'd like to see what weapon we are currently using we are using a themis standard assault rifle hmm I don't know whether I really want to do anything just yet. Probably not, but there it is. That's a small look 
at Merc. Do you want to see more of this? I would be very much happy to play more of this because it seems extremely fun so far and I'd like to find out a little bit more about it. So, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.